hey everyone welcome back to the channel so today's video we are going to see that how we can use salesforce dx with the metadata api now all of us must be having an existing project like in my case i have already existing project my existing version code and uh, vcs system version control system or rather you can say scm where i have all my source code committed into the system so uh how can we make sure that we can take the uh, advantage of sfdx at the same time we should be able to use the metadata api so this is an example this is my package.xml and just like a uh, salesforce and migration toolkit on the basis of package.xml we can retrieve metadata and we can deploy it to the metadata so let's see how we can still use a package.xml and perform all these tasks so my first step would be this is my uh, package.xml file here all i have to do is my i will open my command prompt here and first step in sfdx is to link your salesforce org with sfdx now mostly we link either our scratch or or devhub org but in this case we are going to link our standard org so like in my case i am going to link this is my salesforce org so for that i have uh, initial few commands you might have already seen so i will run these commands one by one so this is the command uh, let me copy this so this command says that okay i have to authenticate a new salesforce login and set it allies as jza1 so if let's say you need any help on any command all you have to do is write down your command and at the end you have to write something like this h h means help so salesforce will come up with all the suggestions that okay this command why this command is used and what are all the combinations you can use with these commands so i will go back again i will run my original command i'm saying okay whatever the org i am going to authenticate now rename that org as jza1 or you can say that allies this org as jza1 let's say I'm expecting a browser to be opened and it will ask for my credentials so this is my browser i can use my any credential so let's say let's say if you have a custom domain you can use this option to try your custom domain and authenticate your org now see what exactly is happening at the background my sfdx still open in the background and it says it successfully authenticated this org and now i can close the browser so let's close the browser and let's clean the screen so now we already have our org authenticated so we unlike ant migration toolkit every time we have to either provide username and password or the session id now in this case we don't have to provide any username or password so now this command basically i am going to run now this command in sfdx will use again metadata api and it will use this package.xml and whatever the components specified in this package.xml would be retrieved in this folder so this is my if as you can see right now this folder only have src folder and my expectation is once everything is good i should be saying this new folder name as md api zip so let's try that uh, let me open my visual studio here and let's see so i already have this package.xml and this package.xml saying okay it is going to use version 39 and it needs to extract some picklist values all the profile and all the custom objects and these three standard objects so it says it succeeded now in the background you can see this new folder has been created md api zip and if i go here this zip file is already here so let me do one thing i will this is the file i will extract everything here so 
so we are successfully able to extract our metadata information here and we can see object profile standards value sets all specified is already here now let's go to the next step now next step is how can we deploy it so again i am going to use this command to deploy <clears throat> and right now i am in this folder let's see i am in the, i am in this folder and if i say command i want to deploy then i am saying that okay the folder where it needs to be deployed should be md api zip so that's the folder and then say unpackage dot zip okay so actually i have already deleted it let's see if i can get back so here i already have this zip folder so it should be able to deploy directly from the zip folder and the username it's saying jza1 and it has to wait for 10 minutes so let's go back let's see and another uh, thing i have specified is uh, hyphen c hyphen c is means it's check only it is not going to deploy but it is only going to validate but that's fine it will suffice that okay uh, SFDX is successfully able to use a metadata API. So here we can see uh, our command ran successfully and no errors, 298 components got deployed and this was only validation not actual the deployment. So we are able to prove that even though you don't have dev hub, even though you don't have a scratch org, but still you can use SFDX to use old metadata API to retrieve and deploy any component. So basically it's a substitute of ant migration toolkit. Now let's go back on the last thing here. Now it might be possible that you have an old project. So this is my old project where I have all my package. So in my case here, uh, I have my package.xml and everything. However, I want to start using SFDX. I want to automatically convert all these old fashioned metadata API to the SFDX format. And let's see how we can do that. So that's again very simple. First thing we have to do is you have to create a new project. So what basically I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project right here by running this command. So I'm saying, okay, create a new project and name the new project is metadata api demo so right now we see there is no folder name as md api demo so let's see what exactly happens so new folder has been created md api demo and all the if i go back here it will show basically all the folders config folder four app folders has been created main default era or right now nothing is here so let's go back and convert our old metadata api to the sfdx project format and how we can do that so my old project format is here in uh, mdp md api zip in this folder unpackaged folder so all i have to do is run this command So I am basically, let's go back in the demo folder. Right now we don't only mean <laughs> default and aura is here. And first I have to go to this new M metadata API demo folder. And then I have to use this command. So what, it, what this command is saying that I have to convert the old project. Now the old project is in MD API zip unpackaged for so this is md api zip unpackaged folder and everything new would be in this folder so let's try that so i can see at the background uh, folders is started created and everything automatically got converted and that's all I hope this video helped you. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and leave your feedback and comment. Thank you.